Well, after far too long of a wait, uh, I'm going to start working on this bumper here again. As you can see, it's got a nice patina of rust on it, which I'm okay with. I'm actually planning on using some kind of paint that's going to react with the rust and create a, a you know, like a, a non-reactive coating with the rust, and then we'll we'll see we'll see what's out there. There's lots of different products that are good for painting over rust, and uh, I actually used a trim clad one on my skid plate that I finally installed, and even though it's a little dirty uh, from driving around, this paint turned out really nice. This is this is that stuff I used on the skid plate. Uh, trim clad rust reformer and I really like the way it went on. It made a really nice finish. Obviously you can't tell. I'll show a clip that I took right after I painted it and you'll see that aside from one little run that I screwed up, it looks nice. And it's supposed to protect from rust so I figured that was a, a good thing to get on this bash plate here since it's going to be taking a beating from gravel and stuff. So my next plans are get some side protection rock in here. To do that, I'm going to use some square tubing, I finally decided. And I'm going to have a piece kind of like there. And then I'm going to have another piece meeting up with it at an angle like this. And then I may, I'm pretty sure I'll have another piece connecting to those two. I'm not going to go all the way back to this flare, I'm just going to come back a little bit here. And there's going to be a bit of a space between the actual body and this square tubing because I fully expect that if that square tubing ever gets hit it's gonna flex slightly before it bends or breaks and and that's the job it's supposed to do and so I wanted to protect this shit a little bit at least right you know I'm gonna have to tack all of these pieces in place while the bumpers installed and then I'll take it off and weld it but you have to be careful when you're doing stuff like this because if you don't have a really good ground, there's a possibility that you could get a stray arc that will run through your electrical system and mess up your computer or who knows what else. Uh, so we're gonna just always make sure you got a really good ground when you're doing stuff like this. Clean it up good with a wire wheel before you stick that clamp on and then that's, and that's all you can really do. So I'm just eyeballing these best I can, and uh, looks like I got them right around where I want them. I'm making sure that they're about the same distance up and down between the fenders and that bar. And what I'm also checking for, as you can see I've got these angled back slightly to kind of follow the lines of the truck, because the, the truck's front end is curved. And it looks pretty silly if these are perfectly straight because they end up sticking out about this far. So I moved them back a couple of degrees and I just want to kind of eyeball it to make sure it lines up on my truck. And uh, it looks not bad. I'm pretty happy with this here. Obviously you can't tell on camera that easy because of the distortion from the lens and all that sciencey stuff but yes yeah, so I've got those tacked on I'll tack them a little more solid here and we'll continue on Whoa. now that I got these guys tacked into place I got another piece here that I've marked off at the angle I will need. If I can cut this piece right along there, I should have uh, pretty close to two exact pieces, and then those should work out just fine, sitting right under there. I'm just marking where I gotta cut this to make the two angle pieces for the bottom.
This turned out not too bad, if I do say so myself. Uh, I got them pretty, pretty close considering I was using a fucking zip disc with a way underpowered grinder. And uh, yeah, all I gotta do, I'll just clean these up, make sure they're the same, and uh, we'll test fit it. So I got these guys uh, lined up, and I've uh, been hitting them with the grinder to just make that a little less gnarly and try and get them to be consistent. And I think it's turning out not too bad. I'm gonna kind of grind away at just a touch from this part here. I've started to already, just because I want a, a slight angle on there because it, it doesn't sit exactly flat on the plate, it sits a little bit off, so so far so good. Here's another look here, uh, I've deburred it now so it doesn't have all that shit hanging all over the place, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work. Well, as you can see, I've got some ugly tacks holding these things on now, and, you know, I I don't think they look too bad. It turned out alright. <clears throat> so I've hacked up a couple of these uh, little, little chunks here, they're about 5 inches long, and what I gotta do is, because I want these little, these guys to be parallel with the side of the truck, they're gonna have to cant out slightly like this, so it looks, so that, you know, otherwise they're gonna be pointing pointing into the truck instead of straight back. Because I'll need to cut a chunk out of these. It's kind of like this. It's hard to see. Yeah. So this will be at like a bit of an angle here, not quite so much like that, and then this will be at a little bit of an angle too, because then it'll sit on there, like so, uh, but flush up to here. And then this here, this little piece, that'll act like a like a, a cap for this. And I, I think that should look, look alright. Okay, so <clears throat> I got these two pieces, one's marked, the other one, oh fuck shield. The other one uh, I've already started cutting and to be lazy and to cheat I just stuck it in the chop saw and cut part way through and then stopped and the rest I'll just use the zip disc because I gotta put that funky angle in tapering to the, the end. Eh? Uh, I don't even actually want a straight cut here but it won't be hard to, to fix it up with a grinder later. This will save me some time using the chop saw. This took about five seconds. So now I've got this marked and I'm going to take the zip disc and just zip these on both sides. Can't see, too shiny. But yeah, I got that marked on both sides, so that'll take this whole that'll take this this whole chunk here out. And then I'll, this part will end up being a cap for there. And the rest will backwards and from this material that I'm cutting out I can make another little chunk of steel that I can cap this end with and uh, that should work good. Blech. Well these look pretty crude. And it's really hot. Fuck. So I don't know if this is going to make this look better or worse. Yeah, I want to have that parallel to the side of the truck. So it's going to be fitted up to this at a kind of a funky angle. I obviously have a little bit of massaging to do with the grinder to make this fit nice. And this is way too long right here. But it's kind of the idea. Ugh.
here we go. The uh, last piece on this section, and this is about what I wanted. I wanted it fairly parallel with the side. It actually went a little easier than I thought. I got a bit of a gap to fill in there when I weld, but that's okay. I got lots of other gaps to fill. Pretty much what I want. I guess that looks okay. This thing's certainly not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. And, uh, it's, uh, it's eyeball straight. But if you pull out your micrometer, you'll find nothing but mistakes. Luckily, this thing was not built with any precision in mind at all. So the bumper matches perfectly. Yeah, so I'll get that other side stuck on. And then all I gotta do is just start cleaning up, welding all around all these spots, making sure I got good penetration. I might pretty them up with the grinder after just to make it look like I don't look like a total fucking amateur. And, and you know, it's fun to trick people, right? And uh, yeah, same with these. Clean these all up, cap the end, and then just paint it. And uh, we should have a bumper. Something I can actually use for off-roading, you know? So that's it for this one. Uh, I am gonna continue welding and filming and painting, and hopefully in my next video we'll have our final product, or something finalized anyway. I will see you all in the next video. hair look stupid? I fucking look like pyrocynical with this haircut. Uh.